Today we are going to do a twin flame inspired love spell. When I'm filming this, it is actually New Year's Day and I feel like 2020 is gonna be really big, specifically for twin flames. This love spell will obviously work if you're not a twin flame or uh, don't have a twin flame or don't know, but it is inspired by twin flames. Hey witches, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy. I'm a witch and we do witchy stuff and talk about witchy stuff on this channel. You've been asking me to um, demonstrate spells more and to demonstrate my witchcraft more. So I'm actually gonna show you how I would perform this spell. Before we get into this though, I wanted to let you guys know that I wrote a book. I've actually written two now, real grown-up books. They're available on Kindle um, and will be available on paperback shortly. The book is Twin Flames, Understanding Your Twin Flame Journey. I wrote this book from personal experience and from the heart. It's, it's, just to like help guide and support you guys. Okay, so let's get into it. First, I wanna show you the materials that I am using for this spell. Two black candles. You can use whatever color you want. I would suggest using candles the color that would represent your personal twin flame colors or use candles that represent you and your twin flame. If you're working this like a love spell and less like a twin flame spell, then use colors that represent you and the other person. Something to burn them in. I'm going to use this. It's a lid from it's a lid from a candle actually. I'm going to perform this whole thing um, so that you can see it, see what I'm doing. I really experience it. Pens here. If you guys didn't know, I practice blood magic. I don't know how to talk about blood magic on YouTube, you guys. If you have any ideas, maybe I should put a disclaimer at the beginning of the video, but I'm not gonna show that part. So just know that this spell will probably utilize some blood. You don't have to do that. It's not necessary for the spell to work. I wanna be honest about how I would perform it. So, but the pin is for writing either the your name on one candle and the other person's name on the other candle. Now this would be the method that you would do if it's just a love spell. If you know the person and you're creating a love binding between you and another person that is like a specific person, you would put your name on one candle and their name on the other candle. If this is a twin flame spell for you, you would put your name on one candle and my twin flame on the other candle. When you're doing a twin flame working of any kind, don't name that person specifically. One of the best ways to get the universe to prove to you that your twin flame is either who you think it is or isn't who you think it is, and to bring that person closer to you is to refer to them as your twin flame rather than by their name. So that's what I'm using this pen for. I'm gonna use it to scratch the names into the candles. I also have two oils here. This one is lavender. I'm going to dress the candles with lavender. And I'm also gonna dress the candles with, this is a perfume I have. Um, I find that es essential oils can be very powerful in spell work. That is a more accessible way to utilize oils in a spell sometimes than getting a pre-made spell oil or even creating your own because chemistry, but it is a perfume that has pheromones in it. Also going to you uh, burn incense. I almost always burn incense when I'm doing a spell for myself. Just need to pick which one I'm gonna use. And I specifically didn't do this before I started because I wanted y'all to kind of see my incense picking process. I have dragon's blood, which I like and I use a lot. Witch Doctor, Sandalwood, Moon Dreams, Black Magic. This one is unlabeled. What is this? So true story, you guys, I've had this incense for a while. I don't know what it is, like I said. Every time I've picked it out of a bag, I haven't known what it was. Usually I have something in mind. Like I said, I pick these things intuitively, but like I just kind of pick one. And, and here's the thing, guys. I don't know what this is, but it smells right. It smells like, it smells like something that my twin flame would love, which is the whole point. I think I'm actually going to use this unnamed 
incense, but today's the day. Sorry, this video is gonna be a little bit long, but y'all wanted a spell, so here we are. Ribbon. I'm using ribbon. It's a thin black satin type ribbon. You can use ribbon, you can use twine, you can use metal wire. I don't think it matters. This is crooked. We're crooked here. Mm. Okay, whatever you wanna use, if you wanna use a red ribbon, if you wanna use a red thread to symbolize the twin flame, red thread of fate from Chinese mythology, you can do that. Since I'm getting ready to start, I'm going to go ahead and light my incense. Remember kids, be careful with fire. So like I said, we're going to carve the names into the candles with a pen of what it might look like. Nope, nope. Come on, can you focus? Oh my gosh, you guys. And it's, you see, that one has my name. Now that I've dressed the candles with oil, Now, as you are binding the candles with your ribbon, thread, string, whatever it is, I want you to focus on your intent. For some of you, perfect, harmonious, twin flame union, beautiful, loving relationship. You can even do something like this if you are in a relationship and um, you just want to bind it, to consecrate it, to give it a little extra power. You don't have to do this if you're alone or if you're in separation. Now my candles are in. If you're going to use blood magic, now would be the time to collect that. However, you're going to collect it and dress the candles with that as well. Oh my gosh, look at it burn. If y'all use these little candles very often, you know that when you first light them, they usually do not go crazy like that. Unless you're working a spell, just lighting a candle, it just, even at the beginning, usually takes it a second to get going. I'm gonna let it do its work. I'm gonna let it burn all the way down. And um, when it's done, I'll probably set aside and keep it for a while. I'm gonna let the incense finish burning. I'm gonna keep them next to each other so they can feed each other energetically. So if you guys try this spell, please let me know um, in the comment section below. I would love to hear about it. Or if you don't want to talk about it in public, send me a DM, send me an email. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, check out my new books on Kindle. Again, there are two of them, Twin Flames, Understanding Your Twin Flame Journey and Elemental Magic, which is something that was highly requested by you guys. So please go and check it out. I want to give a shout out to my first ever Patreon supporter. Thank you so much to the Deviant Witch. Just want you to know how much I appreciate you and I appreciate your support and I'm Happy New Year, you guys.